It's uh, great to be here at the ultimate uh, seminar organized uh, by Westminster uh, University with uh, Kienda Hoji, who is the uh, uh, director of the BA course uh, of commercial music here at Westminster. So hi, and how's it going? Hi, um, it's going really well. Thank you very much. It's, really it's good to uh, be here. It's an amazing event. I mean, it's uh, completely uh, sold out and uh, you have to actually turn people away because there are too many people here. So it's uh, fantastic. It, it is. It's really great to see so much, such a high level of interest, actually. I mean, the, the, the foyer was packed full of people from the, from the start and it's, um, yeah, we have had to turn people away. I mean, it is a free event, but it's been it's been really good to, to have that much Absolutely. people register in, a, in advance and turn up. So yeah, it's great to see. We're loving it. <laughs> and so uh, let's talk about this, the seminar uh, first. And yes. how many years has been uh, has been running for? Is it quite a, a established event? Um, well, it is as a as a brand, the ultimate seminar. Kwame's been running it for the last ten years. This is the tenth year, so it's quite a long time. It's the second year that we've run here at University of Westminster. Great. So we partnered with um, Creating Vision to run it here um, for the second year. And it's great that we're running it here in the 10th year. I think it's great. Absolutely. And talking about uh, you know music education for the music business, yes. uh, uh, you know, on the show, I talked a lot about uh, the new digital mm. side of things. And mm. uh, uh, I wanted to ask you, so how has uh, uh, how have things changed for you? Of course, uh, the course has been running for around 20 years. Yes, is that right? it's our 20th year. I mean, we're, we've got another anniversary and that's our 20th year in business. That's um, amazing. So um, how, how, how have things changed as far as the digital side of things is concerned? How has that impacted the way you teach uh, the, sure. the BA? It, I mean, the music industry, as I, I said in my introduction, is the most rapidly changing industry that I know. I don't think, of, I mean, I can't think of many others, that, I mean, apart from technology, I guess, that move as fast. Yeah. Um, and she said the, the impact of digital is, is very profound. I mean, everything that we teach now has to revolve around digital delivery and, you know, the use of um, digital technology in the production, distribution um, of music. And, you know, it would be remiss of us not to, um, to focus on those areas. So, for example, now, bizarrely, we're talking about analytics a lot, you know, um, people understanding how to use social media in a way, and, but understand what, not, not necessarily what goes on in the front end of, of, of social media, but what actually goes on in the back end. In other words, how do you study the statistics in order to be able to know where your market is uh, yeah. and, and that kind of thing. Um, but also the whole way that it's changed the whole um, revenue model of the music industry. We're now looking at subscription models, we're looking at a whole range of different things, streaming technology. The music industry is largely now, because of digital, the impact of digital is more about access rather than consumption. The selling and that's a huge change that the industry has gone through and so of course as a course there are constant challenges to try and sort of keep the students abreast of all these technological developments because um, what we want to do at the end of the day is allow uh, you know to put out into the music business world students or they're not students when they leave us but people who go into the music industry well equipped with the knowledge of what music means and also you know how to use and and you know enhance what they do by using digital technology and sure. digital means. And looking at uh, students that come in uh, yeah. today, has, uh, has the change in the music industry also changed the expectations of the students that come in and the potential jobs they're looking for uh, at the end of the BA? Absolutely. I mean, the, th the thing about now, we're finding students coming in who are a lot more savvy already um, about how the industry works, you know, and so consequently, they've already come in at a certain level uh, above where they used to. Um, and now their expectations are much higher. So they're kind of thinking, you know, they're, they're understanding the democratizing, the doctor, dem democratizing impact that digital technology has had. And they're able to already to start utilizing their knowledge in those areas and to start, you know, making money. We've got several students who are already running social media um, companies where they're doing stuff and already, you know, um, releasing material, you know, uploading it and and but not just you know it's simple to upload it, but actually it's the it's the understanding of how to utilize the technology in order to you know maximize the market awareness of brands and products. And students are coming in with that knowledge. So what they're expecting and their expectations are well, they want to learn now how can they maximize that how can they really get to the bottom of really what goes on and they really want to know now what what the real implications are and so we get conversations about rights in the digital domain for example and they want to learn those things because once they once they get that extra bit of knowledge it then allows them to to really do very well absolutely like as, as you said you know anybody can open a twitter account and sure. start managing yeah. that sort of things but it's tying that 
knowledge with uh, a broader knowledge about the industry about the revenue models about where to go once you get a following on twitter what to do how to maximize uh, revenue streams that, that that's where you come in yeah absolutely and we teach all of that it's, it's all well and good having a twitter account but you can't just release a record just by having a twitter account you know you've got to have an understanding of how to to use all of the associated technology with that and use it strategically um, which is really, really important. And I think that's the ex another exciting impact of the techno uh, technology on the music industry has been that people are now having to start to think a lot more strategically about how they put music into the public domain. You know, and, and that's exciting, really exciting. For legal challenges, I mean, I, my background is law, so I understand that, you know, it's really interesting times now. It's sort of the law is always lagged behind developments in technology. And, and that's another reality we give students that, you know, and again, that, changes their view about what they can have and what they can't have, what they can have rights to and what they can't have rights to. Yeah. Um, and again, we, we have to, it's responsible, it's our responsibility to ensure that they understand that yeah. in a sort of new digital domain. You know. Of course, and you must talk, talk to a lot of artists besides just uh, the students at the university. And uh, looking at, I mean, I spoke to a lot of artists in the last few months and there's still a huge amount of people that uh, put all their efforts into producing a beautifully crafted album. Yeah. They spend a lot of money on production, on recording, mixing, mastering, yes. and they get to the end of it. They have an album, but they don't have a plan. Yes, which is always what baffles me about it, because yes. you know, you know, you've yes. put all this effort into getting yes. an album out, yes. and then you're disappointed because you put you're releasing it, and you're expecting the world to sort of yes. appreciate it and embrace it, which doesn't happen yes. unfortunately anymore. So, you know, how do you deal with those uh, people that come to you and say, you know, I've got an album, what am I going to do with it? Well, it's a very interesting point you should make, actually, really interesting point, because we teach last thing first. Yeah. So the whole idea is, uh, and the whole philosophy with, with teaching last thing first is knowing where it is you want to be. You know, I, I've heard it said an analogy, I think uh, Stephen Covey in, in one of his books um, talks about, you know, it's all well and good climbing the ladder. Uh, when you get to the top, you might find that the ladder has been leaning against the wrong wall. So the most important thing is to establish the right wall first and then climb the ladder. Uh, and so that's the whole idea of last things first. So with an album, you record an album, you know, have a clear idea of, of what you want this album to achieve and let that inform what the album sounds like, the direction that the album takes, and most importantly, the strategy for how you're going to distribute it and get it into the public domain. Because all of those things tie in. And if you can do that, then you can start to record your album, <laughs> you know I mean? which is absolutely essential. And this is what we hopefully give our students that, that, that knowledge. You know. That's great. That's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And, uh, uh, you know, of course, you can check out the Westminster University site. I'll put some links in the show notes for the course uh, and also some links for the ultimate seminar. No it sounds like a fantastic event and I look forward to seeing more of it today. No problem. Thank you very, very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.